Hello everybody, this is The Lone Coder, and welcome back to another React video. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to show and hide React components based on a condition. So say you have a Boolean variable, and based on whether that variable is true or false, you want to show or hide a component. I'm going to quickly cover that today, and I'm going to use an example for this, which you can actually access on Code Sandbox. So on this example, you can see in the browser window, it says, click the button to show the dialog box, click anywhere to hide it. So showing and hiding dialog boxes is a big use case for showing and hiding React components. So I'm just going to show you this very quickly. So if we go ahead and click on this button here, you can see that we have this other React component that shows up that says, hello, this is a dialog box. And then if we click on it, or if we click outside of it, then you can see that it disappears. So this is a perfect example of when you would want to show and hide a React component. Dialog boxes are extremely common, so I'm going to show you how you can implement this. Okay, so I've cleared everything except for the default stuff from the app component. And up here, we also have a couple of imports. We're importing useState from the React library, and we are importing a dialog box component. As I said, you can access all of this code on Code Sandbox. I will leave the link in the description. So first of all, what we're going to want to do is at the top of the app component, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. We are going to create a state variable. So that's going to be const, and inside of this destructured array, we are going to call the state variable dialog box visible. It's going to be a Boolean variable that we can use to determine whether we want to show the dialog box or not. And then the set state function is going to be set dialog box visible. And that is going to be equal to use state. And it's going to have a default value of false. Now under this h1, we are going to conditionally render that dialog box component. So if the dialog box visible Boolean state variable is true, then we want to render the dialog box component. So let's go ahead and render that if it is true. And since it is not true, since we set it to a default of false, you can see here in the browser window, it is not showing up. So in order to fix this, we're going to add a button that shows it. So under here, let's go ahead and render a button and it's going to say show dialog box. Then we're going to close that up and it should automatically be styled as you can see here, but right now it does nothing. So up here, we're going to define the handle click function. So it's going to be const handle click, and it's actually going to take an event object as an argument. And you'll see why in just a second, because when we open this up, the first thing we're going to want to do is use that event object to stop propagation. And the reason we are using the stop propagation function is to prevent this event from bubbling. And that's because eventually we're also going to have a click event on this div that's containing the button. And so in that case, if we were to click this button, it would also cause a click event to trigger on this entire div, which would cause the opposite effect. And if you do not stop this event from propagating or bubbling, this button will actually not work because what will happen is it'll be setting the dialog box visible state to true but then the event on this entire div will be setting it to false. So it'll look like nothing's happening, but it's really just showing the dialog box and then hiding it extremely quickly. So first of all, we need to stop the propagation and then we're going to set the dialog box visible state to true. And right now this actually should work since we do not have the other event set up. So let's just go ahead and go down here and add in the on click attribute. So that's going to be on click equals handle click. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. And if I click on it, you can see that this is actually showing up. It says, hello, this is a dialog box. And since I made the window bigger, it's covering up the button. So I'm going to make that normal size. And now you can see that it is showing up, but then we cannot get rid of it as it is. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's make this bigger once again. And we are going to create another event handler. This one is going to be called handle container click. And to make this make more sense, I'm going to go to this click handler and I'm going to make this handle button click and I also have to update that down here and this one is going to be set to another error function but we do not have to take in the event object as an argument so let's go ahead and open that up and we are going to set the dialog box visible state to false instead of true and then down here inside of the app div we are going to set the on click attribute to handle container click so now I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger, shrink it down again, back to normal size. And now if I click on this show dialog box button, we can see that it's showing up. But if I click on it again, then it disappears. And we can click anywhere inside of the app component. So I don't know if it'll work over here. Yes, it will, because the app is taking up all of the space. I actually do remember setting that in the CSS file. 
And so that is how you can show and hide a React component. All you need is a state variable and some kind of way to update that state based on when you want to show and hide it. Then all we do is just use some simple conditional rendering to check the state and see if we want to render that component. So that's all for today's video. I hope I helped you out. If I did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be having tons of new content on React, so you should also hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I have new videos out, which is going to be quite soon. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.